back to the channel, welcome back to the Never Cream and welcome to the 50th edition of Never Cream 24 hour race and welcome to the first video dedicated to it. Next to me is Nico Bastian that we know already from a couple of videos we did together or should I say track day events with Bürstein yep. and today we're here with the car, with the new livery, with the new logo as well of Bürstein and we're gonna talk about the excitement, the car itself quickly because I think it, that it, it deserves a bit of attention. Most importantly, later on, we'll be followed by the onboard video from a qualifying lap. So, Nico, first of all, towards the fans, how excited are you to have them finally back after two years of nonsense, madness? Let's not talk about the bad things, let's <laughs> talk about the good things. Well, yesterday we had the Alano Racing Day, so it was amazing. I was uh, lucky enough and had the pleasure to drive our car down there it was amazing. So now you really know, you already said how much you missed this, but now you really know how much you have missed this. So it was amazing how full it was, like totally crowded, a lot of familiar faces, good to see the, them back again. So we are all very happy to see every single fan back here. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, absolutely. Like you said, I don't know, racing days, uh, there will be a video about it tomorrow that you can see how crazy it was. It was I got goosebumps and a bit of tears. I didn't film that, mm -hmm. but it was really like, you know, you come to a realization, like you said, you missed it. Okay, let's now get back to the topic about the car and the race. How excited are you? What are your expectations? Uh, weather is super nice for the Eiffel. Uh, fans are back, so... And for 24 hours. And for 24 hours. We don't have predictions for rain or hail, which yeah. is unusual. Yeah. <laughs> True. We even expect to drive 24 hours. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. amazing because... Last year was nine and a half, so... That's why. <laughs> so, um, no, Ray, we are really like pumped and highly motivated. Uh, we know the car very well, uh, so the setup is the same with Bielstein. We are working together since a lot of years. The tire didn't change, the car didn't change, so we are sorted out and we are really looking forward as a team. Um, the only challenge we are facing was replacing Manuel um, mm. because unfortunately yeah. he had the, the accident uh, two weeks ago. He's fine, but he cannot race this weekend. So there we had to change a little bit the driver lineups, but that was the only uh, difficult and challenge what we, what we were facing. The rest is all set and we are ready to go. Mm -hmm. I saw that you're driving with three people in the car. Yeah. Um, is this like any advantage of driving uh, not with four people instead, for example? You get more drive time. Everyone is like more in the rhythm, drives more often. Also here, the only challenge is that if one, one driver is getting sick, then you're only two left. So it's, yeah. then it's getting, getting a problem. But yeah, the, the idea is the advantage that everyone drives more in free practice, in qualifying, in the race, and as, hi guys, um, <laughs> as, <laughs> as more you are like, in the rhythm, yeah. as better you are. So that's yeah. why it makes sense to, to drive more as a driver. Yeah, let's quickly talk about the car. So it's uh, GT3 spec for the ADC 24 hour race. What's the rough BOP horsepower number output? Uh, roughly around 500 horsepower. Naturally uh, aspirated, by the way. Yeah. Still the, the classic old school NA. Same like the Dutch here, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty so, much. So, pretty much <laughs> the same. Um, also similar car colors that we ran last year, blue, just yeah. with a bit more yellow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we have about 1,350 kilograms with in the moment. With fuel and everything? Uh, without fuel. Without so fuel. So we put fuel on top, the driver on top. So that's just the weight of the car with the BOP weight, what we had to put. Hello again. Yeah. Um, so the BOP we have to put, the BOP weight we have to put additionally into the car. So the car can be lighter, but we have to run extra weight. So that's the spec we have. Um, and um, yeah, we, we think we are in a, in a fair battle compared mm -hmm. to the other cars. No one knows like really the BMW. Yeah. This car seems to be very strong, very competitive. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they have much more in the pocket because everyone like puts a little bit more on the table for the 24 hour race now. Yeah. So <laughs> if this is the case with BMW, ooh, okay, <laughs> it will be tough. Um, but yeah, let, let's see, like in the end, we only know like after qualifying where we are with the speed. Yeah, exactly. I'm looking forward to seeing that, of course. Uh, AMG didn't lack any power or talent with the qualifying race because they, uh, well, the, the second race was one. And I think the first one, no, first one was uh, BMW, yeah. Was, uh, was very good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's quick uh, take a closer look at the car that uh, Nico is actually driving because this is the new livery car. And now let's walk through the one which, is, which has the classic livery. And I absolutely love the idea. It was also cool that the copy was there yesterday yep. with, the, with the racing game. So I see that the latest 
the, the stickers are being applied. Actually, very interesting detail is that you're taping up the grill, so I guess that's to get, because now it's a bit cold. Yeah. And later, so, so that the car doesn't get too cold at the start. Exactly, and, yeah. And um, yeah, later on, then you'll probably take it off. Well, it's amazing. Let us know what is your favorite Burstein livery car, the new or the classic one. I love them both. Someone from Burstein just asked me the question, which one do you like the most? I cannot think. I know you, that's your favorite because that's your car. Exactly, my name so. is on that, so that <laughs> makes a difference. <laughs> Easy. Good. Well, good luck with the qualifying, most importantly, also the race. And looking forward to seeing you, hopefully, also on the podium. So Thank you, guys. Enjoy. And enjoy the onboard.